So, Siobhan, how did you first hear and meet Nicholas? Uh, it's quite a long story. I was living with a lovely, lovely, lovely girl called Beth Bridgington back in 2006, and she was attending um, a dramatic dance course at at London Studio Centre. And, um, and I was entering a reality TV show, and I had no idea where to start. And I asked if she had any recommendations of singing teachers, and she recommended Nick, and he was teaching at school at the time. Okay. And so you, you went into the reality TV show, and what happened? Um, well, I, went to, I entered into the reality TV show, um, I hadn't got a clue what was going to happen, obviously. Um, but Nick kind of guided me through and gave me some incredible pointers. And I honestly, I don't think the outcome would have been the same if it hadn't been for Nick's help, in all honesty. Where did you come? I came third. Oh, okay. But okay. the fact that I just got through to TV shows, I think, was, was quite yeah. an achievement. I was certainly very proud of myself. So, and how did Nicholas's teaching help you then, and has it helped you since? Oh yeah, I would always, I mean, I'm always calling Nick saying, help, last minute audition, I need your help. Um, actually, um, the most recent job was a similar sort of scenario. When I'd come out of Miss Saigon, I was going into Sunset Boulevard, and the singing style was so different. And I had an audition that was quite quick. I had like two days to learn the material from practice. And, um, and so I got straight up and to Nick. Please, please, you're the only person that can do this for me. Please, please help me. <laughs> and then he got me straight in, bless him. Um, and yeah, he continues to help me. But throughout the reality TV show, that was quite a big thing because, you know, every week we had different songs and he would take me through and sometimes it was just on the phone. But he was always there supporting me. And you're now on the West End, so how's that going? Yeah, I mean, the last job was at the Coliseum with Glenn Close and she um, was an absolute legend, is an absolute legend. And it was fantastic. Um, and I know that you know, there's been some nice feedback about the way that I've sung the songs and again, that's, that's mm. Nick's help. Um, I just think sometimes you just need somebody else who just you can oversee from an outsider's point of view. Sometimes you can sing something and it feels right, but perhaps it doesn't sound as good as it, it could do. And that's when it comes in. Would you recommend it? Sounds like you would. Yeah, I already have <laughs> to a number of people. I would always recommend him, yeah, because he's patient and he knows exactly what he needs to get done and he just gets straight to the point. That's really, really valuable. So, what's next for Shivani? Oh, I'd love to tell you what's next. Um, what's next is um, more of the same, um, <laughs> just perhaps not in this country. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, but what happens when you go abroad? How are you going to get your it's music gonna have to be Skype, I think. It's going to have to be something because we're not going to be able to do it without him, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. For without you I can't smile without you I can't laugh and I can't sing I'm finding it hard to do anything you see I feel sad when you're sad I feel glad when you're glad If you only knew What I'm going through I just can't smile Without you I'm in jail.
glad that you could let it go But I wouldn't catch you hung up on somebody that you used to know